Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, um, we discuss all things RC600 and have plenty of content for you to check out. Uh, so do consider subscribing. If you're a returning viewer, then welcome back. As always, if you find the content useful, um, comment below, like, share, and there's now a link in the description below for you to say thank you and support the channel if you so wish. Uh, in today's video, we're talking about how to separate all six of your inputs, um, send those instruments to six individual individual tracks, and then send your recorded tracks to six separate outputs. So why would you want to do this? Well, if you wanted more separation between instruments, um, then you could go from your outputs into a mixer and have more control over the sound production. An EQ can happen at various stages from inputs, outputs, you could even EQ separate tracks and also EQ at the mixer stage if you were planning to use one. You even have options to add input effects um, which will then be recorded to each of your tracks and then track effects which will be sent to your mixer if you wish to use those. And this will be good for live loopers who might perform on a range of instruments or even a live band if you um, who will then have more control, sorry, over how each of their instruments would sound. You could even use some foot switches to give band members control over recording, overdub playback features if you really wanted to, but we won't go into that today. Now, enough spiel. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a look at the back of the RC600 real quick. I'm guessing if you already have one, you know um, how things are set up. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at um, the inputs first of all. So you can see on the left hand side I've got mic 1, uh, next to that I've got mic 2, then I've got instrument 1 left and right and instrument 2 left and right. Um, so what I'm going to do in this example I would say that I'm going to use um, each of these separately and I'm going to use a, a vocal, um, vocal microphone going into mic 1 and then mic 2 I will use, I will mic up a cajon for this example. Um, so any you could do any kind of percussion or whatever you wanted to do with your se second mic, but I'm just going to use a cajon. So mic one's vocals, mic two is a cajon. And then instrument one, I'm going to split that left and right. So let's say the right is going to be a bass guitar, and then the left is going to be an acoustic guitar. And then instrument two, we're going to split that also, and we'll have keys on the right-hand side, and on the left we'll have an electric guitar, and the sounds that I'll use uh, will be from the effects built into my Katana amp. So then I've got six individual um, sound sources going into each of these uh, individual inputs. Now, obviously, they're not split at the moment, so I'll talk you through how to do that in a minute. Moving over to the outputs, you can see that I've got main output right and left, sub output uh, right and left, and then sub output two right and left. So the plan is to send each instrument to... A separate output. Notice I've got six different inputs and I've got six different outputs so I'm going to split those up as well um, and then also we're going to send the instruments to six different tracks on the RC600. So we've got quite a few things to get through. So first of all we're going to talk about the inputs, how to separate those, then how to send those to six different tracks and then to send those six tracks to six different outputs. And of course, if I wasn't recording on the tracks, I would also want my inputs going straight to the outputs so that I could bypass the tracks if I wanted to do that. So quite a lot to get through. So first of all, I think what we'll do is we'll make sure that we can um, have access to six individual loop pedals on mode one. So if you've seen um, previous videos of mine, you probably know how to do this. So I'm just going to sail through it really quick. It's not a difficult procedure, but what we want to do is basically rather than have track one here, track two here, track three, and then press the, the track select button to go four, five, and six, we're just going to have this as track one, this is track two, this is track three, four, five, and six. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to, uh, sorry, we're going to go to menu twice, we go to control function, and we select mode one, and pedal one, and now I can just turn this over to record play four, so it was already on that. I'm gonna come out of that, and we're gonna do pedal two, and that's gonna be track two, record play four, and then pedal three is gonna be track three, record play four. Notice you can see like the light 
on, on that pedal particularly lighting up. So we're going to do that. Uh, pedal four is going to be track four, record play four, pedal five, track five, record play four, and then pedal six will be track six. Where are we? Somewhere around here. Record play four. Now I've got all six of my pedals set to, um, to individual loopers, which is a lot easier for me looking at mode one. So now that I've done that, let's make sure that each of my uh, inputs at the back are all split. So mic one and two, obviously, they're all going already going to be separated, but instruments, instrument one and instrument two will need to be separated as well. So the way to do that is we're going to go to menu, input, setup, and then if I just page across, you can see I've got my stereo link to on, on instrument one and two. So I'm just going to disable that. And just to check that that's worked, everybody, if you just go back and take a look at your EQ settings, you can now see I've got an L and an R for instrument one, whereas previously that would just be instrument one and instrument two. Over page across, you can see I've got options now to EQ uh, instrument two as well. So now that I know that's worked, um, my, my next step would be to go to my output settings and do the same thing. So I'm going to go to setup and I'm going to turn off the stereo link for all of my output. So that's my mains and my subs, my subs. And again, just to check that, I can go back, go to the EQ. And now you can see I've got left and right for my main, left and right for sub one, left and right for sub two. I can also go back into the mixer settings and you can see now I've got access to all my um, different levels that I can do for the mics, instrument one left and right, instrument two left and right. So that's how you know whether that's, whether that's worked for you. So my inputs and outputs are now, um, they're, they're now, at, they're now uh, sorry, what's the word? <laughs> they're now uh, separated. There we go. We got there in the end. Um, so next up, we're going to uh, make sure that each uh, of your inputs is routed to a specific track. So the way to do that, we go to loop and we select on the track that we were going to use. So let's just do track one. If I page all the way across, you can see now it says input and I've got everything going to track, uh, to track one. So obviously all I want to go to track one, if I'm going to use this one for my vocals, this one for my cajon, this one's going to be my bass, this one's going to be acoustic guitar. This one's going to be, uh, what was it? Um, acoustic guitar keys. And then this one was going to be um, my electric guitar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at track one. I think, okay, I'm going to disable everything apart from mic one. So you just go across and then disable everything else. And then if I, go, if I just press loop now, I can go straight to track two rather than going exit and into track two that way. So I want everything except... Um, mic 2, go into track 2, so let's turn everything else off, I press loop again, now I'm on track 3, I want everything off apart from um, instrument 1, it's a bit backwards, it's an instrument 1 right, I said, and then I go press loop again, everything now except instrument uh, 1 left for this one, and then press loop again, everything's off extra except instrument two right and then the last one everything's off except instrument two left so now i know that all of my inputs here are going to go straight to those separate um tracks that i've selected before which were uh, going from left to right the first one was a vocals then a cajon then bass guitar then acoustic guitar then keyboards and then my electric guitar so that's everything set up for my uh, inputs going to the tracks. So now I've got two more things really to go through. What I want to do first is make sure that my inputs here are going straight to the, to the specific outputs that we want. So the way to do that is to go to menu, we hit output, and we're going to go to uh, routing input rhythm, first of all. And now you can see this is my just my main 
left. So if I just want my vocals to go to this specific output, I'm just going to leave mic one on. And we're going to turn everything else off. Now I can go across main right. I just want my cajon going to main right. So I'll turn everything else off. Go across. Sub output one was my bass and that was instrument one right, wasn't it? So let's turn everything else off. And then sub output two was instrument one left and that was going to be my acoustic guitar. Uh, sorry, that was sub output one um, right, wasn't it? That one. Sub output two is going to be everything off apart from my, um, which one are we up to? Acoustic guitar. Um, no, we're not. We're not to the keys. <laughs> there we go. So that's that one. And then finally, um, we're going to leave on sub output to instrument two left, which is going to be my electric guitar. Now, that just means that everything is now being sent from my inputs to the right output. That's great. And also from my inputs to each of my tracks. That's great. So the final thing, hopefully this is the final step, we need to make sure that each of our tracks are now being sent to the correct output. So we're going to hit menu again. We go to output into routing, but instead of going to the input rhythm, we're going to go to track. And now we can make sure that the each track, so we know track one vocals is going to go to main left. So everything else goes off and then main right. I only want, um, Track two, go into that one. So everything else goes off. Page across. Sub output one left is track four, wasn't it? Maybe I've done this a little bit backwards. You might find an easier way. You might be wanting to do left and right rather than right and left. And then sub output one right was track three. Go across one more time. Sub output to left would have been track six because that's my um electric guitar and so well for two right is track five oops there we go so now as long as i've done everything the way that i wanted to do all of my inputs are being sent to the, tr the right tracks all of my tracks are being sent to the right outputs and all of my inputs are also being sent to the right outputs and that's it everybody you should now be able to send six different sound sources to or instruments to be recorded to six individual tracks and then be sent out to six separate outputs to use with a mixer, different speakers, amps, whatever you wanted to do with it, really. <sighs> we got there in the end. As always, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, share, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Ta-ta!